And with that, greetings! Wow, actually quite a few more people in the chat than I anticipated. And you guys were quite early. <laughs> oh man. Hello, Verta, aka Bob, DLP, Nobody Girl, Squizzy, the marvelous Simon Parsons himself, Crusader AT 2014, Any Sim, Haley Round, and Miss Fujimoto. Hello, you all, and welcome to my very first own live stream. So, <laughs> yeah, paste, I know, I know. <laughs> Ah, uh, great to uh, have you here. And yeah, so let me show you what we're doing today. Although you might have guessed from the actual picture. There we go. I'm on the Pixelmon server. And I'm not alone, as Quizzy said in the chat already. Greetings, he's on here as well. Oh, having quite a high ping. Yeah, today I just wanted to do a little bit of stuff around here. And first things first, I have a small chest in my house, which has been left by another person playing on the server. Uh, right here, Verta left me a chest, and she said it would be nice if I could open it on camera. So, there we go. Cake! Free sample to pasta. And Bob's boobies. Well, nice start for a stream. So, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Bob's boobies. Uh, sounds a bit rude, but, well, why not? And a free chest. So, let's put the chest in here. Um, this has to go in an item frame at some point. So for now I'm just putting it in here. Uh, yeah, we can now buy cake from Verta's shop which is right over this way. And you don't point with an axe, you just don't do that. Yeah, so, um, I trained the Pokemon a little bit more since my last video, as you can see. And, um, well, First, I want to go to spawn, see if anything happened in my shop. And afterwards, we can check out Verta's shop, because I haven't done that on camera. Uh, but it is now officially open, so... Verta's shop will be given a thorough inspection, if you will say so. Yeah, so, how are you guys doing? And uh, most importantly, uh, if you are having issues with the... Uh, with the stream, please tell me if the audio levels are okay, um, because after all this is uh, mainly a test stream to sort out some uh, technical issues and um, see if I can do this with these settings or if I have to uh, twi uh, twitch some of these. Actually, uh, one of your fellow persons... Ooh. Shiny. Okay, I have to do the shout out later. I have n uh, now this where I have to uh, give. Wow. Nice. So we have rocket armor. Ooh. A lot of that, actually. Uh, team magma armor. And two pieces missing. Oh, oh well. Aqua armor. Fully stocked. Mm, nice. Looks a bit piratey. Arrrr. And plasma armor is only out of stock. Well, I think plasma is quite expensive to make, so yeah. Pay what you think is fair. And for special orders, she has a nice little box in here. So uh, yeah. Oh, we have more. Galactic armor. Ooh. Wow, she made quite a few of them. And neoplasma armor, which is also quite expensive. And the best cake ever, Bob's boobies, TM. So, it's trademarked, and I see a Squiznuts over there. So, yeah, I like the shop, and uh, I think I have shown that on camera, but I have to give that a another showing, because Verta did um, this as well. So, from the top, the cake is actually like in Minecraft. 
just marvelous. Love the shop. Great work, Verta. Uh, <laughs> ah, perfect. And you guys seem to be fine. That is good to hear. Yeah, you're very welcome, Verta. You're very welcome. So, no more payments, so we should be out of stock. Nope. Looking alright here. The chickens you might hear are from Dresar's place beneath. Sometimes some of the chickens uh, glitch in here, actually, so uh, I'm taking a look down here before we have a chicken army breeding down there, uh, what we do wouldn't like. So, oh, I'm having a little bit of lag here. Yeah, we already know Locke's place. Um, he was so kind to allow me uh, using the fossil cleaner and the fossil machine, so uh, I uh, we might go ahead later and get some of the fossils we got in my last video. And right here, this is the poker brothel, which Lock, which Lock put there. As you can see, there are Eevees breathing, uh, breeding. Yeah, and uh, this is just weird. Incredibly weird. Anyways, let's let's go to the Extreme Hills biome and train the Pokemons a bit. Flo yeah, this is the pro Poke Brothel that Locke built. Um, actually, the first eggs he did was with one of my Eevees, so um, I can now get Eevee eggs whenever I want. Um, yeah, I think Locke is pretty much a pimp by now. Oh, fireworks are that loud? Wasn't Guy Fawkes Night uh, a few days ago? Uh, on the 5th? Uh, I mean Bonfire Night? Huh. Oh, Blue Bot of, uh, Dot of Doom. Has anybody else this issue? Or is it just Haley? Uh, let's, let's look for a uh, Sable Eye. Uh, works fine, says Verta. Huh. Let's hope it stays like that. Uh, maybe just refreshing that your browser then, Haley. I oh, love it. Uh, there should be at least one Sableye around here. Let's see. And I have with me a nice cup of coffee, of which I will take a sip every now and then. Ah, delicious. Of course, at my place it is uh, 9 o'clock right now, and I need something to keep me awake. Hmm. Yeah, no Sableyes so far. Not many Pokemon to begin with. A few uh, Clefairies. A trainer. Oh, I thought he disappeared. Ha! No, not too much. Not too much. Oh, level 43. Yeah, we will uh, fight him. There we go. And... What is Kranidos? No idea, let's go for Dragon Rage. Because that is pretty much alright with everything. Okay, that looks like a mixture of dinosaur and bird. So, I don't think that flamethrower will do much. Oh, it wasn't very effective but strong as hell. Oh, people are still setting up fireworks. Yeah, they do that after New Year's Eve here as well. Oh, Armaldo. And it now looks like he's wearing a costume. Oh well. <laughs> Let's try for another frame flamethrower. <laughs> uh, it's super effective. Oh, so he's plant and rock and whatever. Oh, and we got Charizard to level 50. Marvelous. Okay. What level is he? Skarmory level 46? Nope. You, you come back here. Let's give Electabuzz a little training. There we go. Oh, nearly one shot at him. Uh, Saturday after Bonfire Night. Oh, World War Three. <laughs> Is it really that uh, heavy? Oh, our good friend Dr. Jemmy, aka Dr. Jamie, aka Keppel Marsh, aka Neil the Weirdo. Ah, uh, joined the chat. Welcome, Neil. Welcome, and thanks for coming. 
And ah, oh, Pupita drops some nice stuff every now and then, so nope. Come back here. Anyways, um while I am Oh diamond, nice. While I'm giving a few Pokemons a thorough beating, I want to thank my friend D D, uh, D L P. Uh a German friend of mine who helped me sorting out some technical stuff this afternoon. Uh, he's actually the same guy who did the uh, my industrial craft series with me uh, way back before I even joined Strangelands. Uh, so thank you very much again. And um, he has a his own flight simulator. So he transformed his room into the cockpit of, and please correct me if I get it wrong again, an a Airbus A320? I hope it's 20 and not 30. Uh, and um, he is live streaming every now and then, he makes videos of uh, him flying with uh, the simulator and uh, well it, it's amazing what he made there. So if you want to check it out uh, ask him for his channel details, Facebook details, stalk him, uh, watch his stuff because that is just amazing. So, give it a give it a shot. Yeah, and of course it's three thirty and not twenty, and I got it wrong again. Uh, I have no idea why I get it wrong again, but uh, he has told me so many times. Yep. I know that uh, official stalker, so uh, do what you do best. <laughs> uh, there we go. Check out his Facebook page and uh, be be amazed. Uh, I don't know what do Cliff Fables drop. Ah, uh, oh, he's asleep. Come on now. Rage a bit. <sighs> so, I don't know. Squizzy is online, so... Squizzy, if you are listening to this, uh, would you be up for a nice little fight for the people in the chat? Uh, have you visited my actual house yet, Pasta? No, I haven't actually. So, Verta, where is your house? I know where your shop is, but I don't know where your house is. So please lead me so I can show the people. And I shall mount Charizard to get there. Come here now. There we go. Fly again over the Team Rocket headquarters. Oh, okay. Squizzy is rearranging his Pokemon. And he will fight us then. Okay, I shall grab one or two myself because I want to do it with my trainer gym uh, battle team. Ah, and some more coffee, of course. Mmm. Just delicious. Anyways, let's heal the Pokemon. Uh, go past Squizzy's house. Okay. Uh, I shall do that after the fight then, Verta. I hope that's alright. Okay, let's see then. Uh, my level 60 Pokemon I got right here. So I'm changing Pupita. Okay. Uh, I don't want to say it loud because Squizzy might be listening. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, no, we'll do that. Okay, my Pokemon are kept at 60. Uh, the weakest is level 50, so, uh, six Pokemon. Ah, it's easier to ride it like, uh, like this. Ooh. Oh, I shouldn't do that, maybe. Yep, go for it. Okay, so we're just... Fighting in the poker center, then. Okay. Right. Interestingly enough, they have gone for uh, the actual size of some Pokemon. So yeah. Um. 
throwing out at three. At three, two, one. Uh, go. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> uh, let's take something different then. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Accept. Okay, right shoe. Hmm. Let's see then. This is quite strong if uh, Gardwa survives that long. Ooh. Okay. So it's now Electabuzz against him? Okay, why not? Wow. That uproar is... Uh... Wow, that is quite strong. And... Uh, no. Let's go with that. <laughs> And oh uh, yeah, let's do that. And there goes Raichu. And of course I'm paralyzed now. Ooh, Venusaur. Okay. Let's do that. Oh wow. That did some major damage. No 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 no. <laughs> I am not going with that. Oh, okay, that Yeah. That left me astonished. Okay. Now? <laughs> okay, cool. Hmm. Let's go for that. Yeah, of course. Uh, I don't have too many level 60 Pokemon. So, yeah. I think Squizzy will uh, win this. And go for that. Haha! <sighs> Luckily, my. Victory Bell is quite fast, and of course, um, not strong enough for Flareon. Great. <laughs> uh, let's go with God of War again. And Psychic. Aha! There goes Gengar. Oh, Pidgeot. Hmm. Yep. Go for that. Nope. Hmm, okay. Let's go for the, <laughs> the giant worm called Gerados. I don't know if that actually does something. Ah, yeah, it is super effective. Cool. Ice is effective against flying. Ah, not fast enough. Ah, okay. Well, I don't think I will win this one. Oh! Electabuzz is faster than the Venusaur. Yeah, let's go for that. I think I know how this is gonna end. Yep, Venusaur is gonna win, and... Squizzy won! Well deserved, sir, well deserved. GG indeed. Now to heal my Pokémon. Yeah. Okay. Let's get our other team back again, so we can train them. Yep, congrats at Squizzy. Welcome back, Miss Fujimoto. Uh, and now, so, besides training, I want to see if I can build a nicer house. Um, right now my house is quite alright, but pretty tiny, to be honest. So, um... After actually visiting Verta's house, which I think must be that one. Right, Verta? Yeah, I think I saw it on another video, at least from the outside. So, yeah. Yep, Verta's place. So, let's see then. Hmm. Lovely decor. Many, many chests. <laughs> and many furnaces. Oh. What? Was that the microwave? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, Squiz Nuts is here at, uh, as well. Yeah, cool. I like the place. I like the design. Cool. 
Yeah, I have to make a bigger place as well, so um, let's hop on Charizard. Hey, I said let's hop on... Hey, don't drop me off, you little scoundrel. Yeah, um, let's see if we can gather some nice stuff, because let's be honest, this tiny thing is um, not fit to be the place of me. So... I won't be totally abandoning that, um, especially not because, well, I have my nice setup down here. Do you already know my apricot farm, a little bit of potato farm there, and of course the mechanical anvils uh, for my shop. So I won't abandon this place altogether, but I want to build a bigger house, and I think, uh, first of all, I have to get rid of all the spruce trees. And then I could go for one of the little hilltops right here. Hello, Teddy Ursa. Um, and then overlooking this little lake here. Yeah, I think that is a good idea. So let's start chopping down the trees. And for whatever reason, I fell. Ah, there we go. Do, do, do. Hey! There we go. Now I have a way up. Perfect. Boop. Ah, doo -doo. ah, interesting that that actually works. So, I'm kind of uh, thinking back and forth. Uh, what style that house is going to be. So, shall I go for a to um, entirely wooden house, like, um, or mainly wooden house, like the one down there, or go for a, for a somewhat different style? Um, I kind of think about incorporating granite, diorite, andesite um, as key elements, at least the foundation, of course. And um, just wooden pillars, like I pretty much always do. So, um, what do you guys think? Besides potatoes. <laughs> there we go, some more wood. Mostly I use the wood for um, fueling the mechanical anvils anyway, so uh, yeah. And I actually have some jungle wood I could use for some interior. Which I grabbed from my explorations to the far sides of the server. Uh, oh, that's sad you have to go already, Neil. But thanks for coming. Uh, and have fun. Wherever you're going, and don't drink too much. Again. Going to the party. Oh, that is amazing. Big thumbs up for the fourth doctor. Bye, Neil. Take care. Can't wait to see his uh, vlog about that then. Um, yeah, Dr. Jamie has a channel on YouTube as well, so if you don't know that channel already, um, check it out and you will see some weird stuff, among with uh, some vlogs and uh, some actual Let's Play videos in there as well, but uh, he has an entire playlist with uh, weird stuff Neil does, and you should give that a try. And afterwards, you will uh, see him with other, uh, with different eyes, I guess. <laughs> uh, people already knowing Neil know what I'm talking about. So, now I have to get this nice flat and leveled. So, uh, I'm taking the top off. Uh, <laughs> it's always nice to have the efficiency shovel. That 
thing just cuts through everything. Oh, I want that. Give me that. Thank you. Mm, yeah, so maybe a little bit less. And Delpy wants to go for something wooden. So wooden on the outside. Okay, I can, I can do that. Group. Take another layer off here, so I have some filling material as well. Feeling like a bulldozer right now. Okay. Interestingly, there is a cave here. Uh, never mind. We can block this entrance. I don't really care for that, so yeah. So, let's gather all of this. Oh. So much for that. I have to get rid of some stuff. Because I'm f have I have a full inventory. And I sometimes have to move my item uh, my pumpkin farm as well. It got trampled by Pokemon quite a bit. So uh yeah, not very good, not very nice. But well what what can you do? So, uh, dandelions go in here as well. Wow. That, that thing just sounds a little bit scary, to be honest. I saw a, an ring, I think it's called. Which is a quite strong uh, normal type and I think a little bit dark type? Or at least it can learn some dark type moves. Uh, such as crunch uh, among uh, bite of course and other stuff uh, so yeah you basically don't want to mess with it but if you want to train uh, that's quite good gives quite a bit of XP there we go oh I'm totally neglecting my coffee here and it's getting cold Ah, that's better. So, Nemo to myself. Uh, get a coffee warmer or something. Because when I'm talking about uh, longer periods, I will just forget to drink the coffee. Yep, poor coffee indeed, Miss Fujimoto. Poor coffee indeed. So... Oh, Simon has to go run. Thank you for coming, Simon. And uh, you're streaming later today as well, right? So uh, go check out Simon's stream if you don't already. I mean, most of you do anyways. Um, this is mostly for DLP, I think. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Simon. And uh, thank you for, um, for actually showing me how to stream back then. Right, okay, we got filling material, now I'm taking spruce wood. I want to have the entrance this way, and I want to make a nice stairway up. Um, a little bit spiraling, maybe, so maybe like here. So, yeah, that might be good. So let's do the entrance here-ish. Uh, so asymmetrical, and now two, three, four... Uh, five. One, two, three, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. You go. You go now. You go too. You go. You go. You go. Um, I think I will bring a little bit of light here. Um, not for me, but I don't know how bright or dark uh it is on your end. So actually. When I get back to normal uh, Minecraft, I will probably forget to light stuff uh, anyway, so... Yeah! <laughs> uh, goody. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. And... Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, and of course... 
it's an odd number. Huh. Uh, mm. Now, now, I'm not feeling alright with this, so uh, I'm. I will just uh, do some more or less terraforming here to uh, make this a little bit bigger. Ah, that's better. Okay, let's extend this by one. This as well. Now, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And same from this side. Nope, this one. So now, I have a somewhat squarish house. Um, you know what, let's do the entrance uh, symmetrical after all. Since it's a square house, yeah, um, I think that is a sensible thing to do. I can do a spiraling staircase anyways, the, yeah, I can do that. Should be, should be alright. Okay, so, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I don't want to get my armor damaged, so uh, I will just not wear it. Nope. And... oh, There we go. Perfect! Ouch. Yeah, maybe... This is not such a good idea. Or, anyways, I'm going with it. As always. Oh, Haley is having some internet issues. I hope you can uh, sort it out. Yep. Thank you for putting the link in there, Crusader. Simon streams quite often and his streams are just amazing, so check them out if you don't already. And he's just uh, an amazing guy anyway, so yeah. There we go. Boop, boop. One, two, three. Yep, is the size I want. One, two, one, two, two, and we need another stack of this. One, two, one, two. Right, so we have the skeleton now, more or less. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, so what I want to do now is get some other wood in. So, I want to try out if jungle wood does something there. If it does, I have to plant some... I think I have some bones? Uh, that's no problem, Miss Fujimoto. See you back in a bit. Um, what is looking odd, Crusader? You mean the house? It is, certainly. <laughs> Uh, I hope it will uh, come together after all. There we go, jungle wood. I will just make some jungle woods there to try out. There we go. I should have some glass left. I do have some glass. Oh, I even have some glass panes left. Even better. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Optifine here, so the glass looks a bit different. Oh, is Fujimoto back for now? Perfect. Right, let's see how the jungle wood looks. It has the same color as dirt, to be honest. And I do want to have large windows. So, like this. Let's, see. let's use the glass panes and see what that does. Okay, no, I want to go for gray, I think. Um... Yeah, I think in terms of style, large window is alright, but um, not this color of glass. So I will take my Silk Touch pickaxe, break those. There we go. And I will just have to find some gray dye. So we have to go underwater to actually fight some tentacles and get some ink. And with the ink, I can make some light gray dye, 
to color my windows. Ah, uh, how does that sound? And there we go. I have a stack of glass, that is alright. I don't need that for now, don't need that for now. And I need my diving suit, Aqua Affinity Respiration, and Depth Strider. Ah, uh, the orbs I have with me. What else do I need for underwater stuff? What else do I need? Uh, I wanted ah, I wanted to look how much I have. Okay, I have two bones, so that's uh, actually six bone meal. I can use later. Some of that I might need for jungle saplings. Um. Anyways, uh, how tentacle? Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, you want the crystal? This one. Um. Yeah, I think we can make a deal about that, Verta. And yeah, <laughs> tentacles. Yeah, tentacool. I have no idea. In Germany, they are called tentacha, which sounds like a an Arabian dish, maybe. Oh, I have some more chicken. Got that. Yeah, I imagined that much. I think you need uh, sapphires, rubies, amethysts as well. I don't need, know if you need the prismarine crystals, but uh, I have no use for them right now, so yeah, we might uh, make a deal about that. Uh, anyways, I don't think I need anything else besides Charizard. I will now mount him and I will fly to the ocean so we can have a nice little stroll down there and see if I can find some tentacles or tentacruels. Ah, welcome back Haley. Welcome back. No, this is just the lake so no tentacles will spawn here. Another lake. Uh, at least not all of the clay is uh, broken out, so uh, Verta has kindly left some clay for the other people. <laughs> uh, so what do you guys think? Shall I go for the jungle wood um, besides the grey windows or shall I go for spruce or dark oak? And I thought the ocean was... ah, there we go, there's the ocean. Yeah, you have a dirty mind, Crusader, you do have. Okay, so... Oh! Night vision potions! Mm -hmm. That is awesome, Squiz. Yes, please! So now, buy the thing at spawn. Okay, you know what? Uh, boop, boop, and I'll just go ahead and do this, because I'm too lazy to actually go back to my place. Uh, what do you want for that squ uh, squiz? I want to write squid, because I'm thinking about tentacles. Jungle wood sounds good. Okay, so one vote for jungle wood. Uh, this is spruce wood from the color, and I don't know if I have dark oak, but I think over at Mord's place I can... Uh, they are community ones, just take, but wow. That is amazing, I will do that. Why? Why, thank you. There we go. So, let's grab some of the night vision potions. So, uh, you guys can actually see what I see, more or less. Ouch. Hey, come on now, Charizard. Come on. Uh, okay, now we have one jungle and one spruce. So, uh, now the vote is inconsistent. Anyone going for another vote? So, community stuff... Uh, no. Ah, oh, right here. Yeah, I will just grab two of those. Should be alright. Go Charizard. 